Hey everyone, Pat Heine here, and this is the new GoPro Hero 9 Black. GoPros are pretty great for running. They're small, they're light, and really easy to carry. But like filming with your smartphone or anything else that's really small, they haven't been super stable for runners. The Hero 7 first introduced some stabilization and it was pretty good. And then the Hero 8 stepped things up a little bit more with HyperSmooth 2.0. That brought in their boost stabilization, which they called a gimbal killer. For the most part it was, but it wasn't totally smooth, especially not when you're running. The Hero 9 Black introduces HyperSmooth 3.0. That expands the boost stabilization to all the settings and brings the horizon leveling from the app into the camera. There is a little caveat with that though. The horizon leveling only works in the linear mode, which is the narrowest field of view. It's a little narrow for when you're filming yourself, selfie style, but when you're running in front or behind a friend and you want to film them running, it's actually really smooth. The next big improvement for runners is the Hero 9 gets bigger battery life. GoPro claims about 30% on average, and that comes by using a physically larger battery, but it should also help the camera's performance in any weather. So if you're a trail runner like me, and you run through rain, snow, cold, you should be set. As you can see, they added a screen on the front. So if you're filming yourself on a run, that's actually pretty great. It does lag a little bit though, so just use it for making sure that you're in the shot. Being the camera guy is so much work. And the GoPro also got a bump in resolution. So now it shoots in 5K as opposed to 4K. And how big exactly is that? If this shot was 5K, this is HD. And at the end of the day, what that really means is you just have more pixels to play around with when you take the footage into your phone or computer and start to edit. Now, they have a lot of new features like the resolution, like the stabilization, but what we really like are some of the things that they brought back. The Hero 8 didn't have a replaceable lens, but they brought it back for the Hero 9. So if you fall, smash it on a rock or something, you can twist it off and replace it with a new one. I got lost there. GoPro also wanted to be more environmentally friendly and add more value to the camera. So when you buy the Hero 9 Black, it doesn't come in a disposable paper and plastic box like it used to. It actually comes in a soft case now. The Hero 9 Black is available now for $449 or $349 with a one year GoPro Plus subscription, which includes cloud storage, discounts on parts and mounts, and a replacement plan if you do manage to break it. But don't worry, the Hero 8 and the Hero 7 are still gonna be available for lower price points. Now, I ran a 200 mile race with the Hero 7 and I was really impressed. With just the camera and a pocket full of batteries, it lasted for five and a half days, and the image was pretty great. It wasn't super stable, but it was crisp. I'm taking the Hero 9 on some runs, and I gotta say it's a huge step up from the 7, and even a big step up from the 8. But I wanna know what you guys think. If you have a GoPro, do you think you'll upgrade to the Hero 9, or is it not enough for you? And if you don't have a GoPro, are you just gonna stick to using your smartphone, or do you think you'll get one? If you're not stopping at a vending machine in the middle of your run, what are you even doing with your life? 